This is a continuation of Sunday's video. I ran out of space on the iPad for footage, so I had to publish that one, upload all the new footage for this part, and this is part two of that part, I guess, so stick around. Today is the glorious day, everybody. We are continuing the EDM 900 install, and I'm finally gonna power the instrument up and begin the calibration process, probably starting with the fuel tanks. So let's power it up together. It works. Step through these real quick. Yeah, I mean, they're all pretty close. Oil temperature, carb temp, manifold pressure is 28.7. Sweet. So the fuel calibration is pretty straightforward. Um, basically what you do is you hold the far right button all the way in and you start the, or you turn on master power and when the system boots up, it will give you the fuel level, fuel level reading stated as a number. I already did it at unusable fuel because it does have unusable fuel in there, which in this thing is about a half a gallon at its flight level attitude, which you do have to have it at its flight level, level attitude. Um, in a second, you'll see that I've deflated the nose strut and the nose tire to achieve that. Um, but I do have a trusty one gallon jug as well as my five gallon gas tanks so that I get this as perfect as possible. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, I got the first number. I'm gonna go ahead and get a quarter tank in there and then I will do it again at one quarter tank and I'll show you what it looks like at a quarter tank. Okay, so like I said, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this button here and start the unit. So I'm gonna do that real quick. You wanna continue to hold this while it boots up and it will come up with the uh, fuel here in just a minute. You'll see what I'm talking about. There you go. So left main now 115, right main now 113. It was 115, one. 13. Make that three more clear. It was 90, 99, and 91. So, and we'll do this again. Four and a half more gallons, four and a half more gallons, four and a half more gallons. No offense, I love you guys, but I'm just going to show you all the values after I get them because it's kind of just the same thing over and over. That was a P51 that they're giving rides in. I should go get one. A, a ride, not a P51. I can't afford a P51. Okay, so I didn't show it. Um, didn't realize until I was calibrating it that the cinder in the left tank got stuck, um, but SICE does allow you to flip the sending or to flip the arm or the float, I should say, or bend the arm if necessary, which is exactly what I did and that fixed the problem. So this is my table over here. After my warning from last week, I told everybody to be real, or two weeks ago, I guess, I told everybody to be real careful when uh, siphoning gas out of a tank not to drink a lot of gas. And uh, I, I drank a lot of gas. It all up in my nose, all over my lips. They're tingling because it's av gas. It's just, it's brutal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the levels set on this table in the next uh, couple pages. And then I'm gonna go home because I am whooped. Okay, so it tells me to press table. That's what I've done. And now it's asking me to, hang on. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna put this in and then I'll get back with you. 
not gonna lie, it's pretty easy. You just select the digit, press the button until you get the one you want, go to digit, press the one you want. I went too far, so now I gotta scroll back through it. It's nine. Save reading, ah, I love it. Edit, 114. Okay, so I walked, got all the tables in, it walked me through a reboot, I rebooted it, and now the fuel gauges are working beautifully. I'll show you this. So there you go, it's right over there all the way on the on the far right. Um, I might look up real quick and see how I set the tack time. I'd like to go ahead and set the, the tack and the, um, the hobs for it so that those are right. All right, so I couldn't find how to set the tack in the manual. Um, I'm exhausted, so I wasn't looking very hard, to be completely honest with you. But there is the display booted up. Um, still have a lot of putting together to do, but I'm going to save that for the last video of just basically me zip tying everything where it's supposed to be and putting the thing back together. But like I said, I am, I'm whooped. So I'm going home. It's been an all day process. It hasn't been fun. Um, if you like the video, make sure you leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe. As always, go build something and be easy.